In this video, I'll show you how to display the previous to purchase products by a user within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So here we are in my WooCommerce store and I'm displaying the previous to purchase products by this particular user in a user friendly and convenient way so they can quickly reorder the products if needs be. For example, in the past I've ordered this products so I can just quickly go and just add it to cart and then I can check out on any other products which I've purchased in the past. So this makes it super convenient for the user instead of flicking through different orders to find a particular product that they've purchased. So to get started, the first thing you want to do is navigate to WooSuite.com and then navigate to this WooCommerce product table plugin, download it once you've done so. Then you want to head over to your dashboard, navigate to plugins, add new, install and once you've installed the WooCommerce product table then you'll see this new menu item here called WooSuite and then you just want to navigate to product table but once you've clicked on product table you'll see this general settings page here so shop pages here we can display a particular product table design on a shop page we can replace the category design with one of our product table tag design and so on and we can create a variation table as well but for this video we just want to display the previously purchased products by a particular user so here I've already created a table called products purchased by a user so the first step is you'd want to click add new table and then you want to give this table a name for example here I've just called it products purchased by user and here we'll just ignore this option for now if you wanted to automatically insert this table into a particular page you can do so by selecting it here but we'll leave it blank for now and then we want to navigate to order form information and then here is where we'll build out our product table so if you can remember here we're displaying the product name, product image, summary, category, price, and then an add to cart button. So we'll just recreate that design here as well. So we'll just drag the product name, product image, and a short description, the category as well, to make it easy for users to filter and find the particular products in which they need. And then we'll add also a add to cart button. And that looks great. So let's scroll down. You can read through each individual settings in your own time, but for now, just for the sake of this video, we'll just focus on the key um, element of our product table. So add to cart button display, we'll select this as a button and checkbox. And we will also enable the Ajax add to cart and we'll also enable the quantity selection. And for our variation settings, we'll select um, drop down, drop down list, which is basically here so we've got a variation settings and it's just showing our variation in a drop down format so that's basically what that is so we'll leave that as it is and for form control here we'll add a new rule and then we will select recently purchased so this will basically show all the products purchased by a particular user and then for our product table filter we will select um, a show based on the column or you can just select um, add custom and then we'll select categories and also tags as well. Okay, for the design, you can um, customize the design, but we'll just leave it there for now. So we'll just hit save changes. Okay, that's saved successfully. So we'll go back and here we've got, <laughs> we've got two um, product table with the same name. If you remember, I already created one um, before this video. So we, I can see by the user ID that this is our most recent um, product table. So we'll just hit copy and then we'll just add a new page. So to add a new page, you can just click on this plus button here and then click on page and you'll just add a new page, name it whatever you like. So after naming your page, we'll just add your short code in which you just copied. And then we can update this page and then let's view page. And then here you can see our recently or previously purchased products and just to clarify this is only showing our previously purchased products if i navigate to my account and then click on orders here you can see i created a few orders so this is this is why we use the product table because to find a particular product in which you've ordered in the past you have to um, navigate to my account navigate to orders and then here um you, you, you have to constantly keep flicking between the different orders to actually find a product in which you want. So whereas here, we're just displaying everything in a 
more user friendly and convenient way for the user basically okay so let's say you wanted to take this one step further let's say um yeah that's great to, to create um a new page which shows the previously purchased products but if you wanted to add a convenient link here which will basically link users to that page directly and to do that we'll add a extra plugin we can do this with custom coding as well but to make it super simple we'll just add a new plugin so Let's navigate back to our dashboard and then let's go plugins, add new. Okay, and then we'll search for custom, sorry, customize my account. Okay, and we've got various options, but for this example, I'm going to use this particular plugin. You can use whichever you like. I'm just going to use this one just to show a convenient link to our users in their my account page. So let's activate this plugin. Okay, now that's activated, we'll see this new um, menu item here. And then we'll just click customize my account. And then we'll just add a new link. So I've previously used this plugin. So this is why it's showing this here. But for you, you just go ahead and click add link. And then we'll just name this previously purchased. Okay, and then we'll click on it. And then here where it says link URL, We'll just basically copy this link here to our page, which which is currently displaying our um, previously purchased products. And we can also choose um, which specific role to show this to. So let's just hit save changes. Okay, and now um, well, let's reorder it a bit. Let's add it here and then let's save changes again. Okay, and now let's refresh this page. Here you can see our previously purchased products and when a user click on it, it will take them here to their previously purchased products. And that's how you display all products purchased by a particular user within WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below and reach out to support if you've got any questions and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. See you in the next video.